Hi everybody, this is Jules from Paper Gems by Jules and I am bringing to you another video featuring a new background border stamp by Unity Stamp Company called School Supplies. And for many of us, um, our kids are going back to school but not in the normal fashion. Um, I know for my son, he is going back to school partially online and they are considering having him go back um, so there is a lot going on um, there's a lot of uncertainty and stress going on so you know this is a nice little card to send over to a teacher I know they've been going through a lot of transitions and trying to figure out how to teach kids online um, and having to be at home during this process uh, definitely reminds me of how grateful I am for our teachers and the education system and you know all the things that they have to do I mean it's continuously learning so it's just amazing um, and I'm so glad that the teachers that we have and have been working with have been so patient and so um, calm during this because it ain't easy um, I know it's not easy and I'm just kind of sitting by making sure he's actually doing what he's supposed to be doing so thank you um, so for now I'm just using primary colors uh, I listed all of the Copic colors on the bottom um, and I will also list them in the blog with a link and for now just uh, sit back and enjoy some coloring thank you
we're going to put everything um, together. I've already colored the background and I use the Hero Arts Infinity rectangle dies to trim out not only the stamped image but also a, another black cardstock layer. Um, I also use my favorite things thank you uh, die cut as well as the shadow die cut to punch out in black thank you and then the the background I did in a vellum so it didn't take away or cover too much of the colored image in the background. Uh, so I did a couple layers of black uh, glued it on using a zig uh, two-way marker and I guess that's there's other ways to stick little things like this together um, I'll show you later what I decided to use for the vellum so that you didn't see any of the glue tape or glue sticking out of it um, I have a Xyron you'll see that pop up in a little bit and that's what I used for the vellum so you could technically use that you could also use um, that sticky paper um, you know dual sticky paper and adhere that to the black cardstock before you die cut it so that way it's already on there you don't have to worry about these things like I did but you know thought about it afterwards so here I am uh, getting the vellum sticky um, pulling that away I love this thing I don't use it enough so putting it out there great tool to have in your your craft space uh, once I can get it off then I will adhere it to the stamped image I'm just taking out little bits of extra glue so that it doesn't shine in there um, you could also use one of those rubber eraser thingies those I think they call them like the booger but you call it whatever you want um, so I'm putting that on I'm gonna add the letters um, in black using that zig two ways uh, glue pen again um, pretty simple and then once you put that on you can adhere it to the background one and your card base and that's pretty much it this is ready to be sent out to one of those amazing teachers in your life or maybe another parent that's home teaching and doing the part and hanging in there we've all got to get through this and you know be safe and be smart so let's always give thanks for all the things Now that you've got this all put together, um, let's all put all the layers together now using the double-sided score tape. I love this stuff. Um, it's pretty sticky. I, I mean, I love the tape runner. However, sometimes um, if you are in a humid space or it's been several years, you know, sometimes I find it to start to detach. Um, so this stuff is pretty permanent once you press it in. So. Um, just adding it to the back layer and then I'm going to add it again to the final layer which is the card base and that's all folks this card is done thanks so much for watching and I hope that you subscribe and follow any of these YouTube videos that I'm posting for you um, if you do have any questions make sure that you post them below and also um, I'd love to hear from you either way thanks so much happy crafting Thank you.